This is my mask theory for Brightburn, why the Brightburn supervillain wears a mask. So if you haven't seen the movie, please click out now. So first of all, the obvious thing to me is that the reason why he wears a mask is because he looks like a wasp. Hear me out. There's one scene where, what is the boy's name? Brandon Breyer, where Brandon Breyer is in the class and they're talking about the species of bees and what do wasps and bees have in common. He says that there are some wasps that make other wasps, I think he said other bees too, raise their young. And I did some research on Wikipedia and yes, there are some wasps that are really aggressive. They're like parasites and they make other wasps raise their young. They'll lay their eggs in their nest. There's one species in particular that's called a cuckoo wasp. So I think the appearance of his mask gives him that look of a wasp, which is further symbolism of how he's come to Earth, not like Superman as a savior, but as a predator. So take a look here at the pictures of him looking like a wasp. So just take a look. That's him on the left. He's got the red glowing eyes, which are just like the red eyes of some of these wasps. It's particularly the paper wasp that's right next to his left shoulder. Since they're not going to give him bug eyes, the red eyes make the eyes stand out more. If you look at the, the long stitching in the front of his face, to me it reminds me of the long wasp pincer mouth. And he's definitely got the cold insectoid stare that a wasp has as an insect predator. So, he's also the same color as a red wasp. So to me, his look and being able to fly, when he flies, his cape kind of looks like a wasp wings dangling behind him. So to me, the red mask is a symbol of him being like a red wasp, the symbol of him being like a predator and being like an animal that can make similar animals that it will probably feel are inferior to it, raise its young. From a martial arts standpoint, when he's around the red light, we can assume he's like Superman and the red alien light is like the red alien sun that weakens him and it makes him as weak as a normal 12 year old boy would. But you know, it would be kind of hard for a woman to stab a 12 year old boy to death because once he started going through puberty, he's starting to get man strength. In fact, in a lot of child soldier armies, they're inducting some children in as young as six. A 12-year-old boy is halfway to man, he's still going to be a lot stronger than a grown woman. So if she wanted to stab him with that shard, she should have had it down here, like right back here. And went after, as soon as she hugged him, she should have just came out and just went quick with the shank. Just quick right in there with that shank like that. Trying to do this and take her time and do some kind of sacrifice to the, to the gods type of stabbing is beyond telegraphed. And he caught it, just like I think any boy would with reasonable coordination. And from there, you know, he just takes her up and drops her. So I thought it would have been a little, it would have kicked me completely out of the suspension of disbelief if mom had been able to murder him that easily. So thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Please share this with people like to talk, talk, talk about the martial arts and who like science fiction. And peace.